Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's given all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob of Shlakia, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. And in this picture right here, you see this woman who was who, who was actually the one who sculpted this image that you see on the penny. I mean Shlakia, on, on, on the dime. All right. And I got this this post. We'll read this post. I got it from um, African and black history. Follow this page, African and, and um, African. Wait, do I follow it? Oh, I guess I didn't. But I follow a different page like this. And um, it shows you how this woman, which I'm going to read this. I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to make this too long. But um, she was the one that sculpted this image. That you see on the dime today, and she didn't get any type of reward, okay? Or um, or she didn't get any. I guess she did later. Let me, let me read this. Let's read this. It says, Selma Berkey was a sculptor and a member of the Harlem Renaissance movement, best known for a bas relief portrait of pre of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. So this is for President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and she point and she painted him, okay? She was a sculptor. All right, and they took her 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 her, her image, and uh, she she didn't receive credit for it. It says she never received credit for her portrait of President D. Roosevelt, which was later featured on the U.S. dime, and it's on a dime to this day. All right, to this day, the same sculpture that she you know sculpted, that image is on the dime. Okay, and she didn't receive any credit. Why? Because Jake is always robbed and and spoiled. Let me grab that too. You know how this I don't forget, but um, I want to read some of this. I'm gonna read this real quick. I got, I'm sure on time, but uh, yeah, man. And I was thinking about this the other day because Jacob is the former of all things. If you look around you, a lot of these things that were created, they were invented by Jakes, man. You know, Jake was um in slavery. They were the ones out that had to work and, and and were the workers. You know, so in that Jake was out here, uh, working, okay, and they made their job easier by creating these inventions. And they say that the only thing the white man, so-called white man, Esau Edom ever evented was the patent okay which he took credit for a lot of things that jake created and um and, and, and ran with it man and jake didn't get no compensation for it matter of fact that, that 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 um that drink that um that hard liquor jack daniels i believe it's whiskey that um that 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 uh that recipe to, to make that drink is as famous as it is and i know plenty of fucking edomites that love jack daniels they love a jack daniels and coke or jack and coke you know but they don't, and these motherfuckers are racist as fuck, but they don't even know that it was a Jake that actually created that, that, um, that, uh, liquor, man, you know, and I believe, uh, not too long ago, uh, his family got a little compensation for it because they, they, they took him to court or whatever, but let's keep on reading, it says, in 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt sat for a, pay, for, oh, well, let me read this real quick, and I'll grab the other scripture, it says, um, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 19, again, the portion of Jacob is not like them. We are not like these other people. We are better than them. For he is a former of all things. So all these things that, that you see, Jake started it, man. You know, a lot of things that, that you know, and, and it's coming out in these last days. Okay, that um, a lot of these things that we see in this earth, you know, all ultimately derive from Jake. And they told us that we was nothing, that, that we was, you know, shit pretty much. You know, that, that, that we were dumb. But you, you're coming to find out that we are really the best people to ever walk the earth. And we are the most... Uh, brilliant man, you know, and Esau knows this. Esau is nothing, nothing but a cave beast. Okay, we we are the ones that created these um infrastructures and civilizations, uh, and they try to say that oh yeah no they created it. You know, all they do is lie. Okay, um let me read this. It says Isaiah chapter forty two, verse um verse i get to the point verse 22 it says but this is a people robbed and spoiled we are those people robbed and spoiled how you got uh sc sc sculpted an image and it got put on the u.s dime but you didn't get a fucking dime for it 
You see what I'm saying? It says, they are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore. And they don't want to restore us. So it's going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahusha that restores us. It says, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and, and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? We have been given to the robbers, man, for a spoil. So anything that we've done, they, 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 they took credit for it. He against whom we have sinned, because we sinned against the Lord, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore, he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it hath set, and, and it hath set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Okay, so let me go here. And finish reading this. It says, Selma Berkey was a sculptor and a member of the Harlem Renaissance movement, best known for a bas uh, a bas relief portrait of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. She never received credit for her portrait of Franklin of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, which was a damn demon, which uh which was later featured on a U.S. dime. In four, 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt sat for a a portrait. By a young African American artist from Mooresville, that artist was Selma Burke. So this motherfucker set as racist as he was, he set for a, to get to get a portrait, you know, sculpted of him. Okay. However, John R. Sinek's signature is on the dime. Wow. See, and he received credit for the work, while Berkey's portrait, which she spent two years working on is only recognized as an inspiration and model for the final image used on the coin according to lisa these these they they, 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 they robbed her according to lisa and that's because they don't ever want to give jake jake, jake a break man you'll, you'll 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 never get a get no a fair shake here in america man this is the land of our captivity it says according to lisa e farrington author of creating their own image the history of African American woman, uh, African American woman artists, Cynic made barely perceptible alter alterations. Wow, uh, it's like a barely per perceptible uh, uh, alterations, honors, as well as a sculptor. Berkey was also a lifelong student and educator, winning numerous awards and fellowships. She earned her first degree and from Winston Selman State. University in North Carolina and eventually graduated with a master of fine arts from Columbia. So this woman was, you know, she was pretty, she was pretty, she was pretty, pretty bright. You know, Esau took advantage of that. She started her first art school in 1940, eventually starting her second in 1946 and opened the Selma Burke, uh, 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 Burkett Art Center in Pittsburgh, which operated from 1968 to 1981 Berkey was an honorable member of delta sigma uh, uh, the, uh theta sorority which is a bunch of greek you know uh bullshit she received several honorable uh doctorate degrees during her lifetime including one rewarded including one a, a, a awarded lucky one awarded by livingston college in 1970 and one from Spelman College in 1988, Milton Shap, then governor of Pennsylvania, declared 1929, um, 1975, so like in 1929, uh, July 29, 1975, Selma Berkey Day, in recognition of the artist's contribution to the art and education, and her papers, so lucky, her papers and archive are in collection of Spelman College, which is a black college. Uh, Berkey was a member of the first group of women along the uh, Lois Novelson, Alice Neal, uh, yada yada yada, to receive a lifetime achievement awards for uh, from the women's from the women's uh, what is a caucus for art. In 1979, she received the award from President Jimmy Carter in a private cemetery. That's uh, so like in a private ceremony in the Oval Office. So, yeah, they, they never do it in the open.
You know, it was, it was private. I'll show you Jake was just robbed, man. And we created all these things. We are the former of all these things. So like a mountain back in the plantation. Let me finish this up. It says, um, she received a Candace Award for the National Co Coalition of 100 Black Women in 1983 and the Pearl S. Buck Foundation Women's Award in 1947. She died in 1995. Wow, that's the, actually the year I thought I was born. She died in 1995 at the age of 94. Wow. And this is the woman, man. Okay. This is the woman that created what you know as a dime to, to a day. All right. So I pray this to the Edifon's hopeful elect. Shalom, coming to all the Baba Ball. Shalom.